In this lecture, we'll look at the area of a sector and see the applications. Uh, we know the area of a disk is pi r squared. r is the radians. Basically, uh, the r squared times pi will be the area of the whole disk. Huh. For example, here is r. From here to here is the r. So r squared times pi will be the area of this whole disk. Huh. Okay. Which corresponds to 2 pi radians. Of course, you know, the area of this disk uh, corresponds to the central circle as uh, uh, the central angle with two pi radians. That's one circle. Okay. So two pi radians corresponds to this big, uh, the area of the disk. And then two pi is two pi radians. If both sides divided by two pi, then you know two pi divided by two pi is one. And here we basically divide the area of the disk uh, by two pi. Okay, and then you see pi cancel pi is basically r squared over two. So r squared over two. 2 pi divided by 2 pi is 1. So 1 radian corresponds to the area uh, which is r squared over 2. That's the square units. So basically, 1 radian corresponds to the area of a sector is this big. Okay? That's 1 radian. Now you know. If an angle is theta radians, then of course, you know, one radian is this big, then two radians will be two times that. Three radians will be three times this one. Okay, this uh, area. And then theta radians will be theta times that. So the corresponding area of a sector a stands for the area will be equals to the uh, number of radians times the uh, sect area per radian. Okay, so this is the area uh, formula for sector. Okay, now uh, here is the example. Find the angle measure if the area of a sector is 9 square units. And here we are also given, uh, we are given is that one thing is here is 9, 9 square units. And we are also given the R is 2 units. Okay. So here we are given two things. Then we can find out the third thing and know. That will be what? Based on the formula. We know 9. That's the 9 square units. We know the area of this sector, uh, which is given. Okay. And we also know the units are the length of the radians is two units. Okay. So that will be two squared right here. And one half is always there. We need to find out theta. You see, find the angle measure. And that's an easy one. Okay. So then what? Then you will have a uh, 9 e cross 1 half times theta times 4 okay and then you can keep going 9 
e cross here is two uh, four here is two so it's what so it's basically two theta okay and then you can keep going divided by two on both sides you cancel this two with this two so you will then have a theta is 4.5 radians you may write rad huh? stands for radians okay okay so this is the given condition you know the area of the sector and you also know the length of the radians you are able to find out the angle how large is this one is 4.5 radians okay now let's look at another example is the one right here that's the application this one says that a water sprinkler sprays water over 30 yards so we assume the water sprinkler is right here okay and then it spreads far 30 yards uh, 30 yards so the radius is basically 30 yards okay now we're rotating through an angle of 155 degrees 155 degrees then we need to find out how large is the area which receive waters so we basically need to find out the area of this sector okay of this sector so we know the formula is what is one half times theta times r squared that's the formula we got to remember huh and then down here is one half theta is how big 150 degrees remember you want to use in radium so that will be what that will be the one we did before okay so it will be um, the formula we did before is I want to remind everyone huh. you see down here 180 can respond to pi then one degree can respond to this much okay so 150 can respond to how much 150 times the pi over 180 okay uh, 155 then times pi over 180 okay yeah and then times r squared r is 30 and then you have to square it okay and then based on the formula we then can find out the uh, value we got to use calculator to do this one okay uh, you see you turn on your calculator clear the mess you know, 1 divided by 2 is 1 half and then times 155 times pi divided by 180 okay that's this one and then times r squared 30 squared you hit the enter you then have the answer which is 1217 point something okay but you know this is approximate value and then you may write yard squared okay that will be the final answer okay please review this lecture i'll see you next time